Hi everyone, I'm Emily and I'm a minimalist but I'm also a realist. Welcome back if you've watched any of my other videos or welcome for the first time if you're new. I'd love it if you could join us and subscribe below. In this video I'm going to be showing you 10 things that you can declutter today, right now, right this second after you've watched this video. Number one, socks with holes in. Get rid of them. They're not comfy to wear, you don't like putting them on your feet, your toes always poke out of the little hole. It's time to donate them to the rag bag and get them out of your life. Invest in a nice pair of socks or if you've already got loads, just stick with what you've got. Number two, expired makeup. My cat really hates expired makeup. <laughs> Now you can take this with a pinch of salt. A lot of makeup products have a six months to a year expiry date on them. Um, it's just on the bottom, there's a little tub with a six or a 12 or an 18 on. Often products do last longer than their expiry date, but if you've had a lipstick for two or more years, it's probably best to get rid of it. I know it's really sad to get rid of your favourite lipstick or your favourite eyeshadows but the bacteria does build up over time and to be honest they just become unhygienic and a bit gross. Even if you can't see it at a cellular level they're not very good for your skin. You might find that you break out um, after wearing makeup that's expired um, that'll just be because it's got bacteria in it and it won't be good for your skin. So dump it. I know some places have a recycling point, uh, Boots did for a while, so it might be worth holding on to it until lockdown is over, hopefully soon, and then taking it into your local Boots or Superdrug might have one. It's definitely something to look up. Sorry if the camera just moved, it just ran out of space on my memory card, but we're back. So let's go to number three, and that is rusty costume jewellery. Now I've already said that I don't buy costume, costume jewellery anymore, and that is because I don't want a green neck or green finger. But if your costume jewellery has got to the point where the gold plate has come off it, or the top layer of colour has come off it, or pearls are peeling, things like that, it's just not a good look anymore and you're probably not going to wear it, so get rid of it. If it's not too bad, you could donate to a charity shop or try and sell online, but if there's no going back, then you might just have to chuck it, I'm afraid. But it's definitely a good thing to clear out, especially if you've not worn it in a long time. Often metals can oxidise with the air, um, just in your room and so that can make them go rusty and horrible and you don't want that anywhere near your skin. Number four is expired medication. Now I am very guilty of this. I'll buy a medication for a certain thing or get a prescription and have something left over at the end of it and just leave it in the drawer. And a couple of weeks ago I went through and did a big clear out of all the medication and first aid we had plasters that were way out of date, they didn't have any stickiness left. We had um, painkillers that were miles out of date. They lose their effectiveness and they're just not worth having in the house. The trick to this is only buy what you need at the time. So don't stock up on five boxes of paracetamol at once. Just buy one and work your way through it. When you're given a prescription, make sure you use it up and also try not to buy the rubbishy cheap plasters unless you have to because they always peel off. I try and get the fabric plasters now which are much more sturdy and stay on for longer. Number five is expired food. Now we've all got that one packet of rice or herb that's hanging around at the back of our cupboard that we've not used in years and it's just time to let it go now. Don't bring expired food through to 2021. 
have a clear out of your cupboards, make sure you know what's in there. And if you're not using an ingredient or it's expired, it's time to let it go. No one wants Parmesan from 1999. Number six is greetings cards. No, not the ones you haven't written in yet, but the ones you've received. Greetings cards are lovely to have up when you receive them, but don't keep a big stack of all of your greetings cards. There's no need. If you put them in a drawer, you'll forget about them anyway. And then when you come to clear out that drawer, you just have a massive stack to go through. What I do personally is I keep one from each person in my life. So I have special ones from my mum from when I was like five years old on brownie camp, but I only have one of those. And then I have the most recent one from Christmas. I think that's quite a nice way to keep hold of special things, but also let go of things that you don't need. If you can't bear to part with any of them, another way you could keep hold of them is by taking photos of all of them and putting them in a file on your computer, then they're not taking up physical space, they're only taking up digital space. Or you could craft with them, so you could make a collage out of all your 18th birthday cards, or you could have a collage of ones simply from one person, or even with Christmas cards, you can make your gift tags for the next year. Number seven is past life or fantasy self items. Now I learned a lot about fantasy self items from a small wardrobe who you should definitely check out on YouTube. They're things that you would use if you were your dream self. So maybe your fantasy self uh, sits down at the end of every night with a cup of coffee and does some knitting. But in reality, you sit on the sofa and watch Netflix. But you've got 10 knitting needles and 50 balls of wool and you've never used them. But you wish you could, but you never have. Just get rid of them. They probably are making you feel really guilty I know I've felt that in the past and it's just time to get rid of them. Kind of accept the fact that you're not the person who knits every night. Instead, you love Netflix and that's okay. I have struggled with past life items. I danced for about 20 years and I still have all of my pairs of dancing shoes and that's one thing that I can't declutter just quite yet. But if you're a stronger person than me, maybe you were a dancer and it's time to get rid of those shoes. Or maybe you painted a lot as a child and you're just not into that anymore. It's okay. Shh. It's okay, just let it go. You might be able to sell some of your supplies instead of just donating or throwing them away as well. Number eight is chipped or broken crockery or glass. If your favourite cup has a chip in it, so you love looking at it but you never use it, get rid of it. If you love it that much, you can buy another one. The same applies for glassware. If a glass has a crack or a chip, get rid of it. That can actually be really dangerous because a chip or a crack can make glass more susceptible to smashing when it's in hot water. But aside from that, it's just nice to be drinking out of a nice cup that doesn't have any chips or cracks. So treat yourself to a nice new one. Get rid of a few tatty old ones and invest in your ideal mug. Or if you have too many pieces of crockery, maybe you've inherited some and bought pieces at various places. If you don't need it, just get rid of it. If it's in good shape, a charity shop or maybe Facebook Marketplace is the way to go. Or if not, the donation centres and charity shops are always after crockery. Number nine is old wires or manuals or electrical goods that you don't use. We used to have a big box full of wires that we hadn't ever taken out of their individual twisty ties and packaging that we had never used and it's gone and we've still never needed to use those things. We've never thought, 
oh, where is that cable for that thing? We desperately need it. I can promise you, it just doesn't happen. Get rid of those wires. And if you jumped on the smoothie trend five years ago and you've not had a smoothie since, get rid of your old blender as well. If it's just taking up space in the cupboard or gathering dust on the side of the kitchen, it's no use to you and someone else might really be into smoothies and you can sell it to them. And finally, number 10, receipts. We all have a pile of receipts gathering dust on the side. Go through them and if they're old or not needed anymore, just get rid of them. A pile of receipts on the side is a pile of guilt trips just waiting for you to go through. Go through them, get rid of them and go on with your life. So that's the 10 things that you can declutter today without too much difficulty I'd say. Go through a couple of cupboards, look on the side and you'll see most of these things hanging around there. You probably don't notice that they're there anymore because they've been hanging around so long. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did and I'd love it if you subscribed below. Also don't forget to follow me on Instagram at The Realist Minimalist. I'll have it linked below. I make new videos every week and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. See you soon!